Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use text animators in After Effects. So to get started we're going to open up After Effects. And so the first thing that we need to do is actually get some text out onto our stage. So I'm going to go up and grab our text tool and I'm just going to type out something simple like text um, so we can get the point across. Alright so now um, the thing that text layers have that other layers don't have are this text property. So if you were to go up and create a new solid for example and just click OK, make it comp size and then scale this down. This is basically just how you would make a shape, um, a rectangular shape with an After Effects and then you go down. Basically all that you would have is this transform drop down right here. So I'm just going to scale this up so you can see a little bit better. So you have anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity, the things that you're used to. So when you have your text layer, you have this additional text, um, these additional text properties that you can actually use to animate your text. So you also have your regular transform properties, but you have your text properties, which brings up a whole bunch of other options. Now, um, these options right here can be helpful, but what I really want to focus on today are uh, the animator properties. So under animate over here, where you have this little triangle, make sure and click that. And I'm just going to scale this up so you can see this. It's going to be off screen in a little bit, but I want to make sure that you guys can see all of them. Um, so you can see that you have all kinds of different things that you can use to affect your text. So I'm just going to scale this down and we're going to be selecting something um, simple. So we're just going to do, um, say, rotation. Now if we were to just do the normal rotation up here in transform um, of the entire text, we just turn on rotation, go out, I don't know, 20 frames, grab our rotation tool at the top, rotate it. You can see that it rotates around wherever our pivot point is, wherever our anchor point is, which is right there in the corner. So basically over time it just kind of moves like that. Now, the difference is if you're actually using the text um, animator rotation, which basically when you go to animate and then down to rotation, um, it adds what's called an animator, and you can see that right here. It has added that layer, and then it has a range selector, and then it has a rotation. And so basically if you just go to add property and you add any more, it'll just put it in here as well. So basically the difference is if I take and animate the rotation here by clicking on the stopwatch, and then coming out, say again 20 frames, maybe we'll do a little bit more. And then we'll take and rotate it. I'm just going to use the uh, numbers here and we're just going to rotate the degrees. You can already see what's happening. Basically, um, it's affecting each individual letter rather than the overall um, block size of the text. So now you can see that you have a pretty cool animation going on there. Now if you wanted to add in some other things like go to add property and then go down to say tracking which is off screen but you're going to tracking and then you start at the beginning with zero and then maybe you want it to spread out a little bit because they're kind of touching and it, it bothers you. So you can just basically turn that up. We can grab our text and move it over so that now, now it basically looks like something came and hit it from the uh, left side and now it's just knocking all of the, all of the text over. So you can see that um, the benefit doesn't usually come with using one of these. Um, if you use them one at a time, it's kind of almost just like a one, uh, I don't know, one trick wonder there. You basically have one thing that it can do, but if you combine them, you can see how we can quickly um, get the effect that we're looking for. Now there is one more um, thing that I wanted to show you. You do have your other um, anchor point, position, scale, skew, rotation, opacity, things like that. You can also um, do colors where you can fade it from one color to another, so you just create a keyframe, change the color, say we want it to be blue, and then over time it will change it from red to blue. So you can see that's pretty cool. I'm just going to delete these out so that we don't get confused on what we're doing. Okay, And we're going to add in one more thing, and down at the bottom there is character offset and character value. Um, character value is basically, it changes the value of all of your characters, so instead of um, the value being text, it would just be all. It would just be a a a a or some variation of that. Now, character offset is probably one of my favorite things. Um, it's only practical for pretty much one thing. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can find something else to use it for, but it basically looks like um, I don't know decoding. If you've seen movies um, where people are decoding something or they're coding something or maybe even matrix uh, code or something like that, basically you just take and you turn it on at zero and then you run it out to say one frame and just 
turn it up and you can automatically see what's happening here and I'm just going to add in um, the tracking as well so we can turn that up just for the whole thing so we don't need to make a keyframe and I'm just going to turn up our characters a little bit so that we get a good one that's not overlapping you'd have to play with it a little bit and so basically over time you can see that it goes from text to nothing and so basically if you wanted to make it go all the way back to your original thing you just hit zero and make another keyframe there and so now we've got our own little decoding deal so I thought that that was pretty cool. So again, um, this isn't anything that's really hard to grasp. Um, I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you that it's there because a lot of times, um, for a while, I didn't even know it was there. I came here and I'm like, okay, transform. Here are the things I'm used to. And I just completely skipped over this text. And then once you open it up, you may not even see this little animate button here. And there's a lot of good um, things that you can do in here because, like I was showing you earlier with that rotation, if you were trying to do that um, each letter by itself, like just making four different text layers, one with each letter, and then rotating those, it would take much longer than by just doing the rotation within uh, the animator. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys can um, do some pretty cool text effects uh, now. Um, kinetic typography and other type related things are becoming a lot more popular, so it's definitely something worth uh, exploring. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.